Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We are on the eve of Christmas Eve day. So, Merry Christmas to everybody, Happy New Year, all that fun stuff. And uh, let me show you what we got brewing. We've been brewing it for a while. If you want some free stuff, it is Christmas. Uh, just come over to quantlabs.net slash book and get yourself some books, free PDFs. Alrighty, so uh, important stuff. Um, if you have not seen my course that I did put up, uh, let's see here. Might help if I go over to the um, store on my Shopify. Oh, you don't want that. So, all right. Um, so what we're talking about is the Python course over uh, on the store, uh, this course right here. Um, in there, I show how to uh, use CCXT Python library, how to download uh, data from an exchange of 100 plus. I use Bi uh, Binance. And um, in there, what you'll find is, I well, I found, I burnt down three hard drives this year. And that was all due to unnecessary disk I.O. Uh, took a little while <laughs> to where, where it dawned on me. But instead of doing that, um, I've got a much better solution. So on a technical level, what we can do now is using um, Redis. Now, that's my choice of database. I think a lot of people respect it. What you can do now is you can easily uh, download uh, data into a database. So let me just put up uh, a sample here. Here in my um, Redis Desktop Manager, I have um, the data right here. Um, two, two tables already that's just experimenting. And uh, I'm gonna put in XRP, BTC, uh, using it, uh, Binance and five minute data. Now I go through it in details in a source code walkthrough with this. It's all done obviously in Python. I put it, I posted this for my elite members and if you need to know what that is, um, all you gotta do is when you come into the store, there's a big diamond. That's the elite. So as I said, all my programming stuff gets posted in there now. So we're talking about this service right here. And um, that will help you uh, see what I'm doing from a programming standpoint. So I just posted this today, um, just now. So what we're doing here is um, we have here the uh, data we're going to download from, but XRP, Ripple, and Bitcoin. So off she goes. I notice it can be a little faster, um, but it's pushing about a thousand rows of data, five minute data into this. Now you might be asking yourself, why Why am I doing this? Looks like we got buggered up here somehow. So let's try it again. Uh, let's see, it might be a bug of some kind. But uh, yeah, so let me show you what, what it contains. So what we're able to do is what we got it's gonna be really slow with all these Python or these Moto Wave I'm recording a video. A lot going on here. Email, email's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. So we'll turn that off. Let's see if this is complete. Uh, yeah, it's really slow because of that. Anyways, let me show you what we got here. Um, so in here we have a key value because it's a key value store, and then here you'll find the actual representation of the entire data frame. And that's number one, I show you the source code how to do that, to push um, from uh, CCXT the data from the exchange into Redis. So that will save a tremendous amount of disk IO. Um, looks like it's completed, but it's really slow because the system's just pretty well got very little RAM see it's just it's it's really getting brutalized so here's here's the xrp <coughs> that i talk about but if i turn off these two motive wave instances they will release a lot of memory so that's worked with the data frame now in 
the Redis. So now what we can do is we can read the crypto from the Redis to a data frame. So in this case, I'm going to do XRP uh, BTC. So what will happen in all my bots, I'll be updating the code for this. So instead of getting it saved to the hard drive in a CSV format, comma separated value, it will now be um, able to um, do it in uh, via Redis NoSQL. And the other cool thing about Redis is where Redis will be very powerful is I'll be able to push that data into, um, into Redis and then have other Python scripts and even other um, languages uh, be able to get access to that data. Um, so it's gonna be so this is gonna be a, a big big advantage there. So here you can see now that after running that script, despite it being extra slow with all this stuff I'm running, um, here it is. And wow, okay, shut up. Those are all the signals that we're running live for the analytics, but uh, it's gotta get moved off the system onto another system. Um, but here, here's the data frame that gets printed out. That's the resulting data frame that gets converted back into Python from Redis. And it's all the same. Standard data frame that uh, if you've taken the course, you know what I'm talking about. This is the open, high, low, close, and a thousand rows uh, as well from Coinbase, or sorry, uh, from, from uh, uh, Binance. So this really changes things immensely. Um, and again, I've, I put up a, like a, 10 minute source code walkthrough. This is why I like Python, it's very concise code. And um, as well, same demo that you're seeing here. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching, have a good day. And again, happy holidays. If you want any of this stuff, um, you just come to the stores I guided you um, as well. If you want the book, just come over to quantlabs.net slash book to get it all started. And um, that's pretty well that. So have a good one, later.